Welcome back to Rebuilding Astro World. This is Swag, and today we are getting into more ride creation. So, in this episode, I want to reshape this area a little bit because we are going to build the Astro Wheel. This ride is funky. It's not something that anybody's building anymore nowadays. It's a classic Ferris wheel, dual, hybrid machine thing. And honestly, I wanted to show you what we're looking at today because it's really hard <laughs> to tell somebody who's never seen it what it is. So, okay, right here you can see the picture of the Astro wheel. So it's like two Ferris wheels on a hinge. It is crazy. It was taken down, had so many mechanical issues. When one side's down, the other side's operating and the other side's loading. And it goes back and forth and back and forth. Looks super awesome. You can see right here, the old car ride goes through here too, over and under. That's that little lake where the Sky Screamer is going, Barnstormer. So we're gonna do our best at building this in RCT the best way we possibly can. So let's go back to RCT. So in real life, it was probably around here, like blocking off the pathing because there was no pathing over here. It was like a huge car ride and the Astro wheel, but we're going to try to keep it in the same area. Um, maybe not breaking up the pathway because the modern park has the path that goes right along here. So we'll probably do something cool over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how I'm going to build this, dude. This is some weird ride that I'm going to have to use a lot of track pieces to, to build. Um, so we're going to do a rough draft, and then once I figure out kind of the rough draft, I'll uh, figure out how we want to make the area work, and then I'm going to build it. So let's get to it. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> this is a not as good as I wanted to make this ride, but at least you get the idea. This is one side down, one side up. I don't know if that's gonna be feasible. I'm really gonna have to play around. Oh yeah, I built it in one direction, so you can only really see the pieces from that direction. Uh, this is a weird one, so I'm gonna do my best. I might 
do a little building offline. That might be the best way to do it. Because uh, I don't think you guys want to watch 14 hours of me going back and forth on pieces and stuff. But with the magic of editing, I think we can figure it out. So you just watched me mess around with this area to make the ride fit into the area the way I like it. I really like the curve on this path. And then we're going to fancy this place up. We're going to use curves, which doesn't really come across super well in RCT, but you do your best where you can. Uh, these little sections are like exits. If you looked at the, like, the original images of the ride, it's got these really long exits that lead out to like the back of the ride to the front of the ride. I think I'm going to build the, the entrance building over here behind the ride perspective wise, like when you look at it from the park. Um, I do notice that this is kind of blocking part of the ride visually, but I think that might do us a favor because the side angles aren't going to be necessarily the most beautiful. I think the main view, this is going to be the best view of it. And then this view, we'll, we'll try to figure out the best way we can do it. Um, so really liking what we got. It's going to look pretty organic. I like the curves. And we'll add some plants to make these areas look a little bit more curated. But I really like what we got going on. So I did a lot of designing off camera the last few days, and this is the design that I'm going with. We're going to have them both being in the order of transition. So like this is kind of halfway up and this is halfway up. It's not like this side's fully down and this side's all sticking up. The angle, I can't get better than this. Unfortunately, if I go any steeper, it looks too awkward and I can't have the ride going around. I think the goal is to have this operating 
but it is going to be really tough because the ride tracks stay on the tiles and this really does need something to go around the outside edge. So I don't know if it's going to look great operating, but I know I can make it stand still. And that's the big thing. If you can make a standing still ride, that's bare minimum. If you can make it operational and look good, that's fantastic. So uh, I didn't build any of the other sight lines, so I'm going to have to do that. I don't know if I'm going to do that on screen or not. Um, I'll find out after I'm done building it to see how long it takes. But for now, man, I am loving this view. I think that's fantastic if somebody turns the camera to this angle, like they see it from behind here and they're like, oh, I want to see what that looks like. It's going to pop really well. So I'm liking it. Looks good for now. Um, hopefully we can continue with it. So now we're at a point where the Astro wheel is in its spot, but in real life, this was far gone by the time, you know, this piece was put in, there's a swinging ship over here, etc. So now we're going to have to start designing things where we want them to be, and then like figure out relatively how we're going to redesign the existing rides, because there is a car ride that kind of meanders through this section in this area where there's like a large brown area. We've got sort of a food stall. I'm imagining this might be like the building where you pay for this before you hop in line to go into it. Um, so I'm expecting like the pathing path to come out through here and let's start just kind of generally marking it with the red. So I think the pathing's gonna come out through here. These are like planters that kind of envelop the restaurant area. Um, so you'll get stuff that comes into here. This is a giant theater. This is another eatery. Um, it's all kind of seaside. And then in this area, we get sort of a, a small building that acts as the entrance for the car ride. And then there is a pathway that comes up here and goes over the car ride, like the car ride goes under it. And then in real life, the car ride goes under it, does a a loop-de-loop -loop here and a loop-de-loop -loop here behind this probably more like in this area so like it comes out goes around goes around comes back and there's two lanes so there's a bridge right here and then of course there's the entrance plaza and the exit for texas cyclone and there's just a sign and then you kind of go under the tracks and then into the station and then the exits over here kind of come out and i believe there's like a station or a backstage area for the coaster over here like the transfer track um so honestly, I think we're gonna have to really redesign this. I think the best way to go about doing this is figure out the scale of these large buildings first. And then once I figure out these large buildings, start building in to the area. Um, so we figure out what, how much space we have with the car ride and uh, if we have to shift over the coaster to make these buildings work. So we're probably gonna get back into building the buildings. Happy, happy day. Uh, but that's gonna be next episode. I think we're gonna wrap up this episode with the finale of this uh, Astro Wheel. I think it looks great. I built it from all four angles so you can see it. It's gonna look good. Um, and then we're gonna probably focus on this giant building and this giant building. That's gonna really give us a border to this area. I do know I need to get rid of this pathway. So this building might actually come out closer over here or we're figuring out something to go over here in the meantime. So that's gonna be uh, this episode, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. 
I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Thank you.